Hi there, Genki Des. In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of Super Potato, the retro game store in Akihabara. So here it is, in the back streets of Akihabara. You can find this store. It has multiple floors filled with super cool retro games. So here's the entrance, you can see a sign at the front, get your Wanda Soft World. So there's three floors in total, starting from the third floor, the fourth floor and the fifth floor. So here's the entrance and uh, let's go in. It's a super popular tourist destination. Super Potato, there are many foreigners checking out this store. And uh, here's the floor pan. So there's three floors from the third floor, the fourth floor, and the fifth floor. And you can see what kind of software is on each floor. So here we are on the third floor. And this is the entrance. So let's go in. As you can see, there are lots of stuffed toys here and loads of cool retro games. You can see lots of N64s on the side here. And those are Super Famicom. Some of them are really yellow. And we've got some Kirby merchandise on this side here. This TV is not working, but it has a cool Kirby sign on it. And we have some Zelda merchandise here. Some Link figures. Minish Cat Link and Ocarina of Time Link for 1,300 yen. At the top there's full of loads of old televisions playing old retro games. Got some Pikmin dolls at the back in this corner. And over here we have the um, Sega Saturn games. Super retro. There are lots of cool figures and toys decorated around the place. Over here we have a Dreamcast game, including Sonic Adventure. And over here there are some more retro games, including Game Boy games, for around 600 yen. These ones are like 1000 yen, and they're all arranged alphabetically in the Japanese alphabet, hiragana. Here we have some more Game Boy accessories. Uh, we've got some GameCube controllers there. And uh, we've got ooh, some old classic Game Boys. Game Boy Color for around 10,000 yen. And the Game Boy Pocket there too. And we have some link cables and Game Boy cameras. On this side we have some old Game Boy Color games and some Pikachu stuffed toys. In these cabinets, they have some of the more rarer games where they try to keep them in good condition. Got some of the Pokemon games, the Zelda collection game, which is super rare for the GameCube. And over here we have some GBA games, which are unboxed. They're going from around 500 to 2000 yen. And some more rare Game Boy games in this cabinet here, including an old Game Boy Color and a cool Game Boy Advance for around 16,000 yen. Got some old mon monitors up there. And more classic games in the cabinets here. Well, this is a super popular tourist destination. So many cool things and lots of cool pictures to take. Let's go look at the Super Famicom games. We've got the classic Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, some Mario games, some Bomberman games, got Mario Kart and Super Mario RPG. I really want this game. 
classic Zelda game. Unbox for around 900 yen. It will be close to 1000 yen once you play the taxes. And here we have some Mega Man games, some Street Fighter games, all for the Super Famicom. And on this opposite side, there's loads of N64 games that are just the cartridges. Got Banjo, Kazooie, Wave Race, Pokemon Snap, Goemon, Star Fox 64, Smash Bros, Mario Kart 64, lots and lots of games. And over here are the box versions of the games, which are a bit more pricey. And at the top we have some Wii and GameCube games, including the classic oh, Smash Bros Melee for 2,500 yen. And then along the back here there are even more Super Famicom games, like the old Final Fantasy games. We've got Final Fantasy 4 and 5 and 6 there. And here's the box version of Zelda Link to the Past for the Super Famicom. It's uh, almost around 5,000 or 6,000 yen for the box copy there. But they have loads of games as you can see in this video here. Yeah. So we're going around here and you can see some super classic Famicom games. So this is what the Famicom games look like in Japan. And uh, yeah, in the West it was the NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. And yeah, the games looked, cartridges looked different. So here's the box versions of the old Famicom games. And we've got Super Rare Mother here for 17,000 yen. Be pricey. And here we have more unboxed Famicom games like uh, Mario Brothers, got a Kirby game there too, Dr. Mario, and we've got the classic Zelda, the original Zelda game for 4,700 yen. At the top of the shop there's loads of monitors playing old classic retro games. There was even a camera crew in. Now it's about the time when all the tourists are being allowed back into Japan and they were interviewing lots of tourists who are buying up loads and loads of classic games. The, the shop here is mainly for tourists I would say and there's loads and loads of tourists uh, buying lots of classic games in the store. So we're going up to the fourth floor now which has some more slightly more modern retro games such as from the PlayStation onwards. So at his entrance you can see Mario greets us at the storefront along with Toon Link from the Wind Waker. Kaze no Takut in Japanese. So here's what this fourth floor looks like. We've got Star Fox or Fox McCloud greeting us at the front too, along with Mario. And the workers behind the tills cleaning the old cartridges. So let's go in and see what we have here. So we have loads of classic games here. Even some of the Street Fighter 4 there too. Let's go to the back here. You can see lots of PlayStation games. Um, over here we have some strategy guides. And there are more strategy guides in this corner too. So yeah, lots of uh, strategy guides on this side here. On the back we have some Xbox games and uh, some more merch, got some Final Fantasy merchandise here and Kingdom Hearts also. 
Oh, as well as uh, Death Stranding, Sam Porter Bridges, Nintendo Nendroids, also some Dragon Quest merchandise you can see there. And they also have their own Mr. Potato goods, such as Mr. Potato t shirts uh, from Super Potato. Super Potato t shirts. And in the back here we have some game and watch systems. The Pocket Pikachu from back in the day. And some more classic game systems. More classic games here. And now we can look through this section here, which is full of DS games. Which we have the Dragon Quest games, we've got the Tingle Balloon game, which was a My Nintendo exclusive game just for Japan, unlike the Club Nintendo. We have lots of Dragon Quest stuff here. Dragon Quest is super popular in Japan. And here we have PSP section. Lots of PSP classic software. On the other hand, we have some loose DS games and also 3DS games, including Fire Emblem If yeah. and uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. I think it's the Ultra versions there. Now we go over to the PlayStation 2 section. Lots of PS2 games here. Got Final Fantasy X2. On the other side, we have some Xbox 360 games and PlayStation 3 games, such as God of War, Final Fantasy 13, and more. Now we're over to the PlayStation section. Lots and lots of classic PlayStation games. All in their cases. Over here we have all the classic Final Fantasy games. They're around 500 to 1,500 yen. For the international edition that was like 4,000 yen for the collection. So that was the fourth floor. Lots of cool retro games there. Now we're going to go up to the last floor, which is the fifth floor. We'll go up the stairs here. And we pass this gacha machine into the back room where there is a shop with loads of snacks and an arcade area with loads of classic arcade machines like a Pac-Man game there and a Street Fighter arcade game there Bomberman arcade game classic fighting games and shooting games Oh, and we have a statue of Solid Snake at the back to greet us in his camouflage suit. His gun is broken now, which is kind of funny. Maybe that's the snake from Metal Gear Solid 2, considering he has the camouflage suit on. We got some leaflets for the Street Fighter 35th Anniversary Some manga in the back, more arcades Vending machine with some nice drinks And also there is the snack store at the back You can see here, with rows of snacks and candies which you can buy
Oh, that's Super Potato in Akihabara. I'm on my way out here, and as you can see, when you walk up the stairs, there's loads of cool posters and images stuck on the wall to have a look at, including old game adverts and old console images too. It's really cool to look at. So I know this door is quite small and narrow, especially the stairways and the, the aisles, but it's cram packed full of loads of cool retro games. It's a, definitely a great tourist location for people visiting Japan. I personally wouldn't buy stuff here because I think if you go to other shops like Bukov or Surugaya, you can get retro games for a bit cheaper. The prices in Akihabara are a bit more expensive than the usual prices. But it's still a good experience and if you're short for time, it's great to pick up some games here too. So thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to support the channel and leave any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao